Hey guys, in this video we are going to test the best camping axe you can buy right now. I made this checklist based on my personal opinions and study time, and I've listed them based on the security and pricing features I've included for options for each type of consumer. So you can easily verify this camping axe for yourself or your family. We always try to provide customers with informative ideas so that they can easily verify any product. If you would like more information and would like to set an updated price on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description below. Our first choice. The MTAC Axe is small. It's also one of the lightest options we tested. That means it's easy to fit in a pack and or stash in your car. The handle is comfortable to grip with a curve that gives you good leverage and blade control. The combination means that it's pleasant to use with a reasonably sharp blade out of the box. We like it best to chop kindling out of pre-split wood or scraps. It feels sturdy without any discernible weak points. It also works well for felling small saplings or light limbing. The MTech is small in size, and its short handle makes it less suited to bigger jobs, like cutting a log in half. We also worry about the nylon sheath. The snaps are stubborn, hard to open and close, and the entire sheath can slip, exposing the top point of the blade, even when it is closed properly. If you choose this one, be wary to avoid cutting yourself, or duct tape the sheath's top. We think of this as a backup camping axe, not one you want to use for any amount of time. But it will easily make you enough kindling for a fire, help you knock in some tent stacks, and clear a limb or two out of the trail. At number two, the Kershaw Deschutes Bearded Hatchet is the lightest and most compact option that we'd opt to use for anything more than a quick job or two, like getting a fire going or cutting down a few shrubs. The entire axe head is thin, keeping weight down while the mid-length handle still gives you the power you need to get the job done. The axe head is 3CR13 steel with a black oxide coating. It's one of the sharper options in the test out of the box, and the rubber inserts on the glass-filled nylon handle are comfortable to hold. The construction seems solid, and we expect this axe to last. The plastic sheath is also surprisingly sturdy and handy with an included nylon strap so you can sling it over your shoulder. We like this axe best for jobs like cutting down saplings, chopping up kindling, and carving off small limbs, though it also does a surprisingly good job cutting a log in half. We wouldn't want to cut log after log with this camping axe. It's just too short to be efficient for jobs that call for more power. The nylon webbing sling on the sheath can be annoying, but is easily removed. This axe does the best job of balancing weight and power, and is our favorite choice to toss in a backpack to keep trails clear of fire roaring. At number three, the Estwing Sportsman's Axe is forged in one piece and made in America from American steel. It feels as solid as it sounds. We were impressed by the sharpness of the blade, the axe's balance, and how indestructible it seems. It's also versatile, tackling log chopping, sapling cutting, and kindling creating. The blade cuts easily into wood, and the length and handle curve provide impressive leverage. Estwing doesn't advertise the pole or back of the axe head as a hammering tool. Still, it is a wide and flat surface that many will use that way. It worked well in our experience, though the handle may not be engineered for the force generated when coming from that direction. We wish the handle had a better grip. It's wrapped in sanded and lacquered leather that feels like plastic, and it's slippery. As a result, this axe is unpleasant to use since hanging onto the handle is tiring. It's also heavier than our favorite compact option, the Kershaw, without seeming to offer more cutting power. The nylon sheath has a loop for your belt and is built to be opened from above, but the top snap is incredibly stiff and it can feel awkward to open and close. If you're passionate about American-made products, this is a quality axe that works well for the typical tasks 
if you're willing to hold on harder. At number 4, the Schrade SCAXE10 is very similar to the MTech USA Axe. The two have similar dimensions and are small enough that you never hesitate to toss them in your car or pack. Though the Schrade is slightly heavier, they are both well balanced and pleasant to swing. Of the two, the Schrade has a more comfortable grip. The rubber is softer, helping to cushion vibrations on impact. It doesn't bite as well though, feeling comparatively dull. Taking more swings to get the same amount of work done gets old quickly. The sheath is protective, but it seems overly complicated and is annoying to operate. This axe is also more expensive than the MTech, so we don't recommend it unless you find a really good deal and don't plan on using it very often. At number 5, one of the lightest options in the test, the SOG axe has a stainless steel head and glass reinforced nylon handle. The flat pole or back of the axe doubles as a hammer. It works well for the task, transferring power effectively. You'll want to cover up the blade with the included sheath while you're swinging it back at yourself to use the hammer. Unfortunately, the straight handle that works well as a hammer is harder to hold onto when you're swinging the blade side. It's uncomfortable and provides little in the way of leverage. The sheath is also disappointing. The screws that hold the sling on around the back are already loose after a few weeks. This is an okay option if you need a hammer on your axe, but the S-Wing is a better one. We hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a nice day.